What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto the ranked double ladder with this special team right here. The reason this team is special is because most of these Pokemon right here, I think four or five of them are going to be banned in the next season, which is crazy. That is just unreal. The new bans are just taking out every single good Pokemon and just throwing them in the trash saying, yo, here's a new game. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Azback. Azback, thank you so much for sending in this team. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to send me in teams, head to the link in the description below to my instagram page it's dm me over there and send me the teams that is the best way to get teams to me but if you guys are hyped for today's video make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button seriously you guys rock cannot thank you guys enough for the support but starting off on the scene we got togekiss over here this pokemon is 100 percent banned in the next season i know that i think it's cinderace togekiss dust cops and titar i'm not sure about intelion that's why i said four or five Maybe Inteleon, maybe not, but definitely the top four on this list. But like I was saying, starting off here, we got Tokus, Super Luxe, Scope Lens, Dazzling Gleam, Air Slash, Follow Me, Yawn. Awesome little moves out right there. I love it so much. Dust Cops, normal thing over here. Nightshade, Bulldoze, Pain Split, Trick Room. You guys already know about that. Same thing with the Titar. It has the weakness policy that Dust Cops can trigger it with the Bulldoze. And then it's using a move set of Rock Slide, Lash Out, Super Power, and Protect. Fairly mainstream stuff going on there. But check out this Cinderace right here. We have a special attacking Cinderace. This is going to throw people off so much. We got Heat Wave, Scorching Sands, Shadow Ball, so we can change the uh, Ghost Typing, and Electro Ball, so we can change the Electro Typing as well, which is dope. So Cinderace is actually going to be able to work out with Silver Valley and Inteleon. The reason it can work out with Inteleon, we can soak Pokemon, then hit him with the Max Lightning. All that good stuff, you guys already know that. But then Inteleon has that Focus Sash, Torrent, Snipe Shot, Ice Beam, Soak, and Protect. And then the reason Cinderace works well with the Silver Valley, this is actually pretty cool. As back was telling me about this, the creator of the team, he said, yo, lead Cinderace, Bring in Sil Valley with it. You go into a Max Phantasm, change the Ghost type, explode. Drop defense, and then explode. It is going to do big damage with the normal gen, and then with the minus one defense. So that is going to be awesome. Plus it's stab. So big damage coming out there, and a pretty cool little gimmick right there. But Sil Valley's in the final spot with Iron Head, Crunch, Explosion, and Protect with the RKS system and the normal gem as its item. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's get after it. Let's try to get some wins on that ranked double ladder. First battle coming at you guys, he has Dragapult, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Primarina, Porygon 2, and Terrakion right here. And Terrakion. Do I lead Silvali? Do I just lead Silvali and get after it? Silvali Incinerate and try for that. I mean, he does have Dragapult, which is definitely scary. Boltski is definitely a scary little mon. He could roll Trick Room. He could do all these little things. But I'm going to go for the Cinderace and Silvali combo. See if we can drop Max Phantasm and then roll out into an explosion. That could be pretty cool. But we just got to see what he is going to do. He might actually fake out my... uh. Hmm. He might fake out my Silvali. He might come in here with a mm, intimidating. That, that, that'd be a little tough. That'd be a little tough if he does do that. But I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. We're chilling. Let's go. Uh, who, who else should I bring? Let's bring Titar in case he rolls a Trick Room and then Tokus in the back end. I feel like that. I feel like that, that could do some work. I feel like we can roll out with that. But I know a lot of people in the comments and like all over the place were like, yo, Jeans, what do you think of the season six changes? I'm like, bruh, the bands are insane. Like, you guys want to know my honest opinion? I don't think they should have banned all these Pokemon. Like, it is a crazy amount. Excadrill, Titar. I think it's 16. 16 top tier Pokemon that are, like, using most teams. Tokus, Cinderace, Rillaboom, Mimikyu, Gyarados. Um, who else there? Magnezone. I don't know why they banned Magnezone. If you guys do know, let me know in the comment section down below. But I just think it is an absurd amount of Pokemon to just take out right off the rip like that. Like, it's just crazy. It really is crazy. But, um, I just feel like they should have just nerfed Pokemon. Like, no Libero Cinderace, maybe no Grassy Surge Rillaboom. Or maybe nerf some stats or tweak it around to make these Pokemon so viable in competitive play. Because they are really, like, top tier Pokemon. It is crazy. It is crazy. But do I Dynamax off the rip here? I think I should. I feel like I should Dynamax. Maybe just drop a Phantasm over onto you and get rolling from there. Do that, and then maybe just do I explode? Do I explode? No, there's no point of exploding here. I could crunch, I could iron head, I could do both. I think I just iron head over onto this tracky on side. But I feel like uh, if we hit this pole, he's dead. Or I could just crunch. Mm, no. Let's go for an iron head. We're gonna, we're gonna double up into the pole. We are going to double up in the pole just in case he uh, eats up this Phantasm. He might Dynamax. He might Dynamax. I'm 100% Dynamaxing. But he's going to be able to outspeed me. Dude, if he goes for a Phantom Force, I might cry just a little bit. I might just cry just a little bit. Don't you dare go for a Phantom Force. Don't do it to me, man. Don't you dare do it. It could be screens. It could, it could be a lot of here. But I feel like Trachyon... Oh, Trachyon could be Scarf. It could be dropping a uh, Rock Slide. But so my Cinderace should be able to eat up a... Just a Rock Slide here. Because if he Dynamaxes, we should be able to outspeed. And at least get a kill off before we do go out. Let's see what he's going to do. He's not Dynamaxing. Rakion's going to protect. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. 
We're not exploding. We are not exploding here. He drops for Panda Force. Okay, so nothing this turn. Absolutely nothing's going on this turn. Bruh, waste of a turn. Bruh. Bruh, what you mean? Okay, so we changed the ghost. I'm fine with it. Iron Head comes out. That's absolutely nothing. Okay, so we're going to take out Pole here. We're going to take out Pole, and then I think like we just drop an Iron Head over onto Terrakian side. Let's get it. What you want? What you want, fool? The waste of a Dynamax turn. He's kind of that was that was pretty good by him. That's pretty good by him. If I can take out two Pokemon with this Cinderace. We should be chilling just fine. Cinderace is an absolute monster. Absolute, just just a monster of a Pokemon. Hence why they're banning him. Like I said this for a while. Like Cinderace and Rillaboom are like the top two Pokemon because of their new abilities, because of Grassy Surge and Liberia. Like they both came out and these Pokemon took this game by storm. They've just been running things ever since. But I feel like if they would have maybe just banned their abilities, then could have went back here or maybe nerfed them gave them different abilities or something like that to make them more viable and less op you guys know what i'm saying or maybe nerf grassy search maybe make it three turns maybe make this or something something different just something different they, but they gave Rollaboom grassy glide and then they gave him what's it called the grassy search as well so it's just like you get that boost grass type your first turn priority is just absurd and then stab on top of it it's just insane band force comes out here and it does mean damage because we did change the ghost typing and we should be able to take out Pult here. Pult should be going down, down, down. Down, 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 baby. Yeah, you See you later, Pult. This one's going to be a close one. This one might be a close match. Trakion did get Dynamax. Hopefully, he is going after my, uh, my Silvalli. I do hope he's going after my Silvalli, which I think he might max knuckle into it. Cinderace survives. What's he going to go for? He's going to go for a Rock Ball. He's going to take out my Cinderace here. We're going for my Silvalli, please. Please. Nope, he goes after Cinderace. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Cinderace goes down here. Man. Change the ghost typing. And it didn't work out for us. Didn't work out. See, like, I want to explode, but, like, they have Pokemon out here that I cannot explode up against. Like, why would I go after it when it doesn't affect the Dragon Bolt or when uh, it would be not very effective to Thrakion? Iron Head comes out here. It does a decent amount of damage for not stab move. And it's because that thing is minus one on the defense board. Go bring out Tokus. Hmm, Tokus is looking pretty spiffy here. What's Tokus' speed? Let me, let me look at your speed real quick. 108. I, you're not expecting Terrakion. You're gonna die. I gotta go into Titar. I gotta go into Titar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But then he's just gonna max knuckle me. We're sitting in a terrible spot. A doo doo spot here. It is nuts. We're sitting in a doo doo spot. I definitely gotta protect. And I might just explode. Let's just explode. See, the grassy surge comes out here. Now we can glide. Oh my god. We're not sitting good. We are not sitting good whatsoever. This Terrakion's gonna be able to run this. Let's go into a uh, protect here. Then do I Iron Head again? Hmm. I'm definitely Iron Heading again. I'm definitely doing it. We're getting after it. Let's get it. Protect, Titar. Protect, my dude. Get it. Get it, Titar. Fake Alex coming out here. Blah. Get out of my face, yo. Wasting your turn. He's got to be going for a, a, a Knuckle, right? Yeah. 100%. Kind of saw that one coming. He goes for a Knuckle. Oh, for my Soul Valley. Oh, my Lord. No. No. What do you mean? What do you mean? That's game, dude. We're going to go down 0-1 here. We're getting murked right here. We're getting murked. After our Cinderace went down, it was kind of tough. It was definitely kind of tough. Especially because uh, our Pokemon choice right here. The Pokemon that we did choose, this Terrakion, is just running up on. For sure. He's rock and fighting, which was super effective to all my Pokemon. All of my Pokemon just out in the dumps here. That is nutty. That is nutty. But we're going to take this one to the chin. We'll take this one to the chin, and we'll get back in it on battle number two. But usually my first battles, I just kind of play it, and then we kind of talk and all that. Like, we, we have some good conversation rolling out here. Considering with the... Wait a minute. Wish I got superpower here? Hmm. Might just drop a rock slide. I could lash out. I'm going to lash out on this And then I'm just going to drop a Gleamski. I'm just going to drop a Gleamski. But yeah, first battles, usually we talk about everything that I want to talk about. We talk about the band and all that. And we don't really play too well. Well, sometimes we get a first battle win. But usually my second and third battles are my better battles. For sure, Tokus goes down. We get, we get, like I said, we getting dumped on here. We getting dumped on left and right. It's all good. It's all good. We got to talk about the. Why would you go for a high horsepower? I'm a little confused. Why would he go for a high horsepower here? When he probably should have went for a uh, grassy guard. Hmm. Hmm. A little confused. Especially if I would have went for a follow me. You know what I'm saying? But last shot comes out here. Should be able to do some nice damage with that weakness policy. Do not take it out because this thing, Robo is an absolute monster. Like this, this is why that thing's a beast. 
He can tank up shots, he can hit like a truck, he can do it all. He can just do it all. And he has first turn priority moves, which is nuts. I'm gonna leave this match, and we're actually gonna keep this T-Tar staying alive. I don't wanna let my poor T-Tar go down and die. That'd be nuts. That'd be nuts. But yeah, definitely poo-poo battle on my end. Poo-poo battle on my end. We lost this one, we go 0-1, but we're gonna hop into our second battle and try to get a win. We're gonna try to get a win and then roll into our third battle and try to get a win streak. Maybe we can go 2-1 in this video. I'm ready to go here. I am ready to go. Terrible first battle, but we're hopping into our second battle. We are going to win this one. We're going to win this one. I'm going with that Sil Valley Cinderace combo again. I feel like we can pull it off this time and do some work. Uh, let's go there, there, and then, hmm. Who am I bringing out? He has Trick Room again, so T-Tar. Come on down, yo. You're coming down. Um, Then Inteleon? I feel like Inteleon could be awesome. Yeah, let's get Inteleon up in here, yo. Cinderace and Inteleon. I don't think Inteleon is banned for that. I'm almost positive he's not. We got Roboom and Cinderace out of here, but so I feel like Inteleon's gonna take a nice little leap of how good he is considering all these other Pokemon are gone. But let me know in the comment section down below who do you guys think is going to be the new like OP Mon now that all these other ones are gonna be banned? Seriously, I would love to know. I'd really love to know. This is gonna be crazy. I can't believe Dust Cops didn't get banned if Porygon 2 did, which is absolutely absurd. It's absurd. Alright, so we go here. Hmm. Hmm. Grassy Surge coming out here. He might just protect. I'm definitely going to change my typing and go for the explosion right now. That's some OP mods. He, he's going to fake out, I feel like. I think Cinderace is definitely going to fake out. So I'm definitely Dynamaxing here, and I'm going to drop a Phantasm over onto the Cinderace, and I'm just going to I'm gonna go for the explosion. I'm going. I'm going for the big boom here. I'm going for big booms right here. I ain't playing around. I probably should have protected Cell Valley this turn. Maybe just dropped a uh, Pyro Ball or a Heat Wave. That could have been a smart play. But hopefully this... uh. Oh, he's dynamaxing. He goes, he's outspeeding my Cinderace. Yo, what you mean? What do you mean you're outspeeding my Cinderace? So, double Cinderace, Dynamax here. They're fire typing, I swear. If this thing has, like, Rock Ball or something on it, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but we are the ones who are special. We are special attacking. So, if I could pull this off, we could be sitting pretty good here. If I could pull this off, I'm gonna be sitting nice. I don't know if it's just, like, a speed tie right now, or he actually has more speed than me. So, we'll see. We will see. The real boom's gotta be picking out, right? Or the real boom might just be protecting. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see in a second. I really want to pull this off. I really want to pull off the Phantasm, get the minus one drop, and just explode with the normal gem stab and the minus one. It's gonna be big old damage. Let's see what happens here. Is that hit me? Yeah, I go first. Awesome. So it was like a speed tie. It, it just didn't matter about the animation. We're gonna be able to drop this Phantasm here. Get rolling with that. Do some nice damage. Minus one on both ends. Um, he's not going for fake out. He's not going for a pick out. He's not going for a grassy glide. Let's just see what, what he's up to. Let's really see what he's up to. Max Airstream comes out here. And who are you going after? Whom are you going after? He's going to boost his speed up here. Don't touch my Silvali. Don't touch my Silvali. Okay, cool. Cinder is going to be able to eat up here. And what are you going for? What are you going for, kind sir? What are you going for, Roboom? I'm, I'm really curious to what this thing's going for. Woodhammer? Like, you're going for something big, aren't you? High horsepower coming out here. And we eat that up because it's a change. And now we get this explosion off. It does not affect my Cinderace because we are ghost type. And we might pick up a double kill here. And we're going to be able to do some nice damage here. Let's see. It doesn't affect Cinderace. Normal gem coming out here. Come on, baby. Doom dirty. Oh, my Lord. So, Volley, relax. So, Volley, relax, dog. Take it out to Cinderace and Ruler Boom. Oh, my Lord. Yo, abs back. Let's get it, yo. That gimmick is tough. That is sick. Get him out of here. Get him out my face. Exactly what I wanted to do. That is exactly what I wanted to do. And now we still have one more turn in Dynamax. I'm going to bring out Inteleon. Just in case I want to soak somebody. And just drop a Max Lightning and roll from there. He's going to go Basharp. Basharp is going to sucker punch me. That's a fact. That is a fact. That is a fact. He is going to sucker punch me. Leave me alone. And Primarina comes out here. So. Hmm. He's definitely sucker punching, right? I have to go for a move anyway. I'm gonna go for this max lightning over on you. And I'm just gonna go for the snipe shot over on the sharp. Don't you dare sucker punch me. Leave me alone. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. You're not gonna do it because you're soft. He's not gonna do it. He did it. I did. Saw it coming from a mile away. Saw it coming from a mile away. We we're dead. Um, okay. Okay. I'm fine with this. We are sashed up and uh what's called should be faster than Teleon besides the sucker punch. We're gonna be able to get off a snipe shot here. Hopefully we can uh get crit. Come on, Inteleon. Point that finger. Yeah, yeet. Boom. Not bad damage. We should be able to take out in the next shot. Moonblast coming out here. Uh, T-Tar's going to take the spot, too. And I'm probably going to protect the T-Tar next turn. He's just going to sucker punch me. Oh, my 
god. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Um, hmm. He's definitely going for the sucker punch. It's back. This one's tough, man. This one's so tough. It's gonna be a tough battle right here. Don't you do it. Don't you do me dirty, man. Don't you do me dirty. Sandstream coming out here. Um, hmm. Hmm, that Moonblast is going to be big damage. Do I protect? Do I drop a Rock Slide? Because he's definitely Sucker Punching my, uh, my Italian. Let's say we do this. Let's say we do this. You can go for the Sucker Punch, right? We're going to soak up here. There's no way you did not go for the Sucker Punch. A sharp change of water. You did not go for the sucker punch? You did not do it? This still might work out in our favor. You did not go for that sucker punch? No way. No way. Titar does outspeed. This is wonderful. This actually could work out in our favor. Take out the Bacharp. Thank you. We take out the Bacharp. We should be fine here. We should be fine. So the soak, that was my plan. I thought he was going to go for the sucker punch. We were going to be able to uh, dodge sucker punch, get off the soak, and then Rock Slide would take him out Change because we changed his typing. But now we'll see what happens. Hyper Voice comes out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We do outspeed. We do outspeed. Titar, clutch it up. He's eating up. Weakness policy is triggered. Buffett's by the Sandstorm coming out here. Thank you, Sandstorm. Don't, don't, don't we get like a special defense boost to it? As long as he doesn't have a first turn priority move, which I don't think he does have, he should be fine. This Prima Arena is dirt slow. I thought it would be faster than my Titar. So now, here's the real question. Here's the real question. I think we have to go for a rock side here, right? We have to go for a rock side. Come on, Titar, connect. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Win the match for us. Get him out of here. Let's get it. Let's go. One and one so far. Win that battle. We got to show off the awesome explosion. And Titar does clutch it up. And we do get a little bit of soak off. But we can hop to our third and final battle and try to get ourselves a winning record. Props to this guy over here. This guy's team looks so cool and so off meta. I cannot wait to burst it. He's got Arcanine, Grimstar, Drampa, Swoobat. Is that Swoobat? Or is it Doobat? There's two of them. <laughs> There's two of them. This is the second stage. I forget what it is actually called. We got Malmar and then Darmanitan. Do I go into the normal gem boost again? That could be hilarious and a lot of fun. It really could. Because that thing doesn't work. It really does. But he does have the Darmanitan, which is kind of scary. And, uh... The Malmar, contrary Malmar, which is kind of scary as well. He does have Arcanine, which could go into an Intimidate. You could do all that stuff with it. Uh, do I go Dusclops and try to roll Trick Room? I think Trick Room kind of would just benefit him. The Darmanitan is really fast, but I'm going to go... I kind of want to explode again. I really want to explode again. He has nothing to kind of just take up this explosion, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to shoot my shot. I'm going to shoot my shot, and then we're going to bring in... Uh... I bring Titar? I don't think we need Titar here. I think we go Inteleon Tokus. Can any of them roll Trick Room? I don't think so. Maybe Swoobat? Maybe the Batmon? Maybe the Batmon. Is Crobat in this game? I don't think Crobat's in this game. I think, no, he's coming in the Crown Tundra. That's what he is. That's what he's coming. He's coming in the Crown Tundra, and I cannot wait. I think Crobat is such a cool looking Pokemon, and he looks so awesome. And then all the Pokemon in Crown Tundra are going to be awesome, too. With, like, uh, Salamence is coming, right? I think Metagross. Uh, definitely Dragonite. I, I'm 100% Dragonite. No, Salamence might not be coming. It's Garchomp. Garchomp and Dragonite, I know, 100% are, are coming. He's got Swoobat out here with a little Heart Nose and Malamar here as well. Contrary Malamar, which um, he might just dump on me. Uh, do I protect and get after him? I might just do that. I might just protect and get after him. Good Lightning. And just drop a G-Max Fireball. Because he's got to go into a Super Power over onto my Sil Valley. Going for that super effective shot. And then just uh, rolling from there, getting the boost. But I'm not playing around. Think I'm playing around? Your boy doesn't play around. Your boy does not play around. So if I can get rid of this Malmart, then I want to change typings, then go for the explosion. So we'll, we'll do a little stutter here. We'll stutter down, we'll slow our game down, play it slow. Trying to get that winning record. Gotta make up for that poo poo first match. You guys already know the deal. But I thought it was so funny when we pulled off the explosion last match. Like, yeah, he had G Max Cinderace. And then a nice big old roll boom. And we were just like, yo, get out of here. We're just gonna explode on you guys. The valley hits that protect. That normal gem boost. I think it's a 50% boost. It's huge. It is huge. Fireball comes out. I think we should be able to uh, KO here. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. No, we do not. Not even close. Not even close. This thing tanks it up. He tanks it up. He's going to eat his berry now. You hunko junk. You hunko junk. Can Phanta Phantasm should be able to take it out, right? 
I'm thinking Phantasm should be able to take out. Calm Mind comes out. Oh, you buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit. He's Calm Minding up. This thing's got to be going for a superpower, right? 100%, right? Oh, he rolls Trick Room? Bruh! What do you mean? This dude rolls a Trick Room. You hunk of junk. Hmm. I'm exploding. I'm exploding here. Going for the Phantasm, and I'm exploding. I'm exploding. I am exploding. Actually, that was dumb. Please take out my Soval here. Trick Room's thrown off. I'm going to do damage to my Cinderace. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You should have exploded turn one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, please, no. Don't take out my Cinderace. Do not take out my Cinderace. Yeah, Cinderace survives! Cinderace survives! <laughs> Bruh, but Cinderace is gonna go down. Cinderace is going to go down. Because of, uh, what's it called? They're gonna get a uh, first turn. Because they got Trick Room. We'll just change the ghost typing, though, and we'll do nothing. That is whack. That is so whack. Let's go with Teleon out here. Bruh. Bruh, I totally messed up. Once I locked in things, I was like, no. I was like, so Valley goes first. <laughs> Grandpa comes out here. I didn't know Malmar rolls Trick Room. But that's on my my end. That's my bad. But still, that was hilarious. Hmm. Hmm, goes Grimstarl. Oh, he's going to Dynamax one of these. It might be a G-Max Grimstarl. Could go Ice Beam on the Grandpa, which is, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop a G-Max Fireball over here. Because that would be my most damage I could pull off. But he's definitely just going to take me out. They, they got Speed Advantage all, all day. Probably Fake Out. Fake Out, take out my Cinderace. And then Dynamax Trampa, who could be weak this policy? I don't really, you don't see much Trampa, so I don't really know what's going on with the, with this old man Trampa over here. Hey, 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 jeans, jeans. I don't know how this match is going to go. <laughs> Let's see, make a move, dog. He's definitely faking out, right? Oh, no, he just goes for a dragon breath there. That's fine by me. Dragon's breath, oh, yeah. And he's not Dynamax, and I hope he doesn't throw his Dynamax. What's he going to do here? Go for a spirit break, it's fine. He's gonna make me minus one. Pretty smart. Pretty smart play. I do some nice damage over on my side. The trick room is just totally helping him out here. Special attack drop. Give me a freeze on this bad boy. Give me a freeze! Let me freeze this dude up. Let me freeze him up. Let me freeze him. Come on. Ah, no freeze. No freeze coming out here. A uh, Togi's gonna pop. Get Togi Wogi out. And I'm just gonna drop a Dazzling Gleam. Hey, clean, hey, clean, 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 clean. Hey, 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 hey. Alright. I'm gonna protect here. You ain't spirit breaking me and taking me out. We going with that and lean. What do you want, fool? What do you want? <laughs> Make a move. He's definitely Dynamax. Dynamax already. Dynamax or Grimstarl. Or Trampa. I don't know like, who he would Dynamax. Here comes the Dynamax. There it is. There it is. What you want, fool? What you want? I already, I already consider this video a win. We got to show off the giant explosion. That's all That's all I wanted to do with today's video. And, and it worked. And it worked. And we dumped on Dumped on him. It was hilarious, but he does Dynamax old man Dramper over here. He's telling all these kids to get off the lawn and stuff. He's like, hey, hey, get off my lawn, man. My old man. Oh, we're going to protect. Hopefully, he's going for the spirit break over on me. Let's see what he does. What you want, fool? Fake gears. Oh, oh, oh. See you later, Tokus. See you later, Tokus. Max Strike. Bye, Tokus. It's all right, Tokus. You're gone. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. That's game. That is game. That is game. I want every time I protect game. Read my protects like crazy, man. It always be read my protects. But that is going to be the game. We go one and two. One win, two losses. It's all good. It is all good. We got to show off that explosion. And we got to show off this pretty cool team. Not bad. Not bad at all. But this guy, I give this guy mad props for using this team. He dumped on me with it. But the Trick Room really did win in the game. I totally forgot that Mal Markham on Trick Room. Awesome team right here. I know we went one and two, which isn't too good, but I'm so glad we were able to pick up a win and show off that gimmick of the special attack incinerates and the normal gem explosion. So Valley, one last shout out to my boy Asback for dropping this team. Seriously, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I absolutely love the team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.